I'm here in heaven at AMP Tyne's new West Quay, where these huge sections for Britain's new Queen Elizabeth aircraft carriers are being constructed. With me is project manager Darren Brown. The key ring to, to your left here, um, it's approximately 40 metres uh, wide, uh, 13 and a half metres uh, long and 6 metres deep. Um, what you're looking at here is the top level deck will form part of the uh, uh, flight deck and the second deck down will form part of the hangar deck of the aircraft carrier. This is one of five structures that we are currently building. As you can appreciate, um, 450 tonnes worth of structure. Um, you know, we had to get it from one end of the yard to, 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 to here, to its final uh, um, loadout area. Um, we used uh, SPMTs uh, to actually carry these units, these rings around. Um, and as I say, it comes to the, uh, the, the uh, loadout area where we finish outfitting and then what we do is jack it down to ground level. Once it's jacked jack down to ground level, it's then transported over to meet its other, other rings. In total, it's 18 months uh, uh, duration. A ring this size is, is taking approximately 10 months. Okay, well, when the five uh, completed rings um, are ready for transportation, the plan is the um, 26th of August of this year. Uh, there'll be a barge that comes alongside the quay here where we will drive each ring onto the barge, uh, secure it, uh, sea, sea fasten it, and then that barge will take the five rings up to Resaith, which is the, um, the integration yard where all the aircraft carrier itself is being built.